Hi kids, welcome to a whole new world. We are doing this partly online and partly in church this Sunday. So you might be watching this from your home. You might be watching it in the church. Isn't that kind of cool? But we are gonna go inside the church right now. I'm gonna take you guys through and we are going to take a look at some of the back rooms that we don't necessarily get to see. Now, this week, I wanna teach you guys a little bit about the pastor so you guys have an idea of who they are. Now, first off, of course, is Steffi, right? She is here guarding the door, saying hi to everybody. Hi, hi Steffi, but I first have to sign in so they know that my body is here. Okay, now, the problem is, I don't usually come and see the pastors and I don't necessarily want them to see me. So, what do you do when you want to be unseen? Get a black shirt, right? Because what better way to transform yourself from a mild-mannered, whole new world leader into a ninja. Now, you ask why a ninja? Because if you guys know Pocket Camp, you'll know that they just had a ninja thing going on. So, what better thing? And then when I pulled out my ninja costume, turns out it's a little bit small. I guess I haven't worn it in a couple of days or years or pounds. So I'm gonna now sneak in as a ninja, just like Snake Eyes, right? You don't know who Snake Eyes is? Okay, well, when we get back together, then I'll start teaching you guys all the great stuff. But this is Steffi. She is the one who handles all of the phone calls, all of the emails. She also handles the pastors. Now that is a major um, thing because it can get kind of chaotic in here, but with Steffi, on, their, on her guard, everybody gets to do what they want. Now, the first place I'm gonna take you guys is the lead pastor's office. Now, you can see Pastor Tom, you know what, he's still new here. So there's a lot of boxes and not a lot of toys, but we'll give him grace on that because he probably hasn't unpacked them yet. But Pastor Tom is the lead pastor here. He has only been here for a couple of weeks. And what's kind of cool, I don't know if you can see this picture here. Funny enough, my first Bible study that I ever did was written by his dad in a little, well, he didn't write it in a little church in Steveson. I took it in a little church in Steveson, but it was called Experiencing God. I didn't even know, of course, that Pastor Tom's dad wrote it or anything, because I didn't know anything like that. I wasn't even a Christian back then. But it's kind of cool that it's come full circle. So, and there's also, if you remember, I often say Bryce is a kid dressed in an adult suit. That was done by a six-year-old many years ago. That six-year-old is now married, moved away. But Pastor Tom knows her as well. So that is Pastor Tom's office. He's still unpacking boxes. We're gonna let him get all his toys out and then maybe we'll go and visit him again. You guys might know that there are interns here. Now, Brayden and Josh are new as the interns for the summer. They have been hired by the church to help out and do some things around the church. Whoops, gotta keep my ninja mask on or they'll, have, they'll see me. But they are here and they're helping out and doing things and such. Now, let's see, let's go to Pastor Sam's office. Oh, here, okay, here is Pastor Sam's office. You guys might know him as the youth pastor. And here is a pastor, more after my own heart, because he's obviously unloaded his boxes. We give Pastor Tom Grace on that, right? But look at, look at all this stuff. Now, I'm sure there's some theology books in here too, but, Look at, there's Lego and Batman and Iron Man and all these cool things, right? And of course, Captain America, who, what could be better than that, right? But that's Pastor Sam's office. Now, Pastor Sam, of course, takes care of you guys in the youth, middle school, that kind of stuff. Now, let's go into Pastor Neil's office. 
Pastor Neil is the associate pastor. He's the one that takes care of the families. He does a little odds and ends. He's the one, basically, in some ways, he's kind of like Steffi. He's the glue that holds everything together. And on the caffeine that he takes, that's a lot of glue. But this is Pastor Neil's office. There's no sign that says, keep chocolate away from here. But there should be, right? Because we know Pastor Neil. But that's Pastor Neil's office. And you might know his wife because she helps downstairs with a whole new world. Pastor Sam's wife helps with the youth group. Now, let's go take a look because we have to go to the very back end to find Pastor Kyle, right? There's Pastor Kyle's office. Now, take a look at this. He's got a view. He's got a couch where he can sleep at. And he's got a guitar. Isn't that cool? Almost like he's the worship leader. Now, if I had known, I would have brought in my guitar for him to tweak. But really, I only practice guitar. I don't play. Because playing might insinuate that I can actually do it well. And we don't want to do that. But Pastor Kyle is the one that you see in the mornings on Sundays leading worship. He starts off the service leading worship. And that brings us now to the boardroom. Now, this is the boardroom where when they have meetings and stuff like that, and of course they need drinks, this is where this all happens. Now, have you ever thought about everybody that works in the office? Pastor Tom, Pastor Neil, Pastor Sam, Pastor Kyle, Steffi. There are a whole bunch of other people like Mrs. Wallbank that are working here, taking care of the church more than I can name because they are all here serving us. We're kind of like, we are the sheep that the Bible talks about. And there is something really special that you and I can do. Now, you guys are just kids, right? What can you do for the pastors? Well, other than getting Pastor Tom a toy or something so he can play with something because his um, <clears throat> office is a little bit <sighs> lacking. But like I said, we still have potential. There's still boxes there, right? I want you to think about these verses from Hebrews chapter 13. The verses 7 and 18. Listen to them carefully. Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Pray for us, for we are confident that we have a good conscience in all things desiring a life honorable. Listen, these pastors spend a lot of their time, more time than really they should, but they want to shepherd us. They want to minister to us. They want to teach us. And what you guys can do as kids, you can make a picture. You can make a card. You can say thank you when you see them. And most of all, you can pray for them. So let's pray now because we can come to the throne of God any time to pray. And God is always ready to listen. And like my friend Stephen Curtis Chapman says, you know what, he's not necessarily my friend, but I was 50 yards away from him in a concert, so that's almost kind of like buddies, right? He says, let us pray, let us pray every morning, every day. So let's close our eyes, bow our heads, let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for making each of us unique and special, that you want to know us, you want to be in a relationship with us. God, thank you for everybody that you have put in our lives, the pastors, the leaders, our teachers, those who have entrusted with teaching us the word of God. God, please protect them. Please keep them healthy. Give them discernment so that they can teach your word confidently, honorably, truthfully. God, in a world where people want to take your word and just spin it in whichever way that they want because it pleases them, thank you for pastors with integrity. God, we pray that you minister to their hearts and their families. God, each of these pastors, their wives, are a big part of their ministry. Without them, 
it wouldn't be the same. God, please protect them, their families. <sighs> Thank you so much for everybody who gives of their time and their talents and their gifts to be with us and to minister to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, so in the Go Curriculum video, we're going to look at a little bit about gifts. And if you haven't thought about your gifts, the Holy Spirit gives each of us gifts. Now, sometimes we only get one. Maybe we get more than one. It all depends. But you know what? It doesn't matter because... God wants us to use our gifts for his glory and to build up his kingdom. Remember how we talked about like being a body where sometimes someone is a hand and someone is an eye and a foot and stuff like that. You know what? We're all part of this universal church and we're all wanting to build up God's kingdom here and sharing God's love with others. So that's what I want you guys to do this week. I want you to pray specifically for the pastors. And then I want you guys to pray for somebody in your life who doesn't know Jesus. Even stop and ask, God, bring somebody to my mind that doesn't know you, that you want me to pray for them. And you know what? God will do it. For me, it's a family member. And I have been praying for them for years. And I will continue to do so because God is faithful. And I am not going to stop. So do that, okay? And until next time, which we may or may not be doing any more videos, so let me take off my ninja mask. And yeah, well, my hair is my hair, right? But I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And I guess I will see you guys in person soon enough as things get better. You know what? God willing. He knows the plans. He knows the future. Only he knows. We can make plans, but he knows exactly what's going to happen. So until then, keep reading your Bible. Love God, love others, and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.